today is going to be the big reveal. I'm going to talk about the invention that I made where I no longer use sump socks. Ahoy reefers! This is Steve. Thank you so much for watching another edition of Rotter Tube Reef Saltwater Aquarium Care. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please subscribe because I think you'll find a lot of useful tips and tricks on this channel. A lot of cool things as well. So go ahead and click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Click the like button. Share it out to family and friends. All, right? all the water filters down from your aquarium through a hole that's actually drilled to the glass. And that bad water, if you will, goes into the sump, which is the little aquarium underneath your aquarium. It gets filtered by a big sock and it's about seven inches in diameter depending on your setup and the water filters through it now it catches all kinds of nasty stuff and you have to change these socks out every three days because if you don't the water keeps running through all the uneaten food and fish crap and waste and everything that these socks capture okay so those are gonna hold nitrates and you don't want water running through that alright these socks are great they really make your water clearer and cleaner. I like them because it keeps the water cleaner. Get It filters out a lot of the dirt and garbage as you can see here. I wanted to make my life easier. I got tired of cleaning them, got tired of dealing with it, so I came up with a better solution for me and it's working out really well. It's a tube and it's very easy to clean and all you do is connect it to the top of the overflow pipe which is one inch PVC most of them if not all of them are one inch now what's inside the tube well it's really easy to open all you do is unscrew the bottom like so it's got very thick solid rubber washers that are industrial so no water is gonna go anywhere check these out just to kind of show you real quick now what's inside you can put whatever you want inside you can put gauze, you can put filter floss, you can put anything you want. Um, just don't put anything in there that's going to clog up. Like I bought different types of foam and half the foam that I bought clogged up easily. I got the same felt that they use for the sump socks and it was awesome. But after about a day, a day and a half, it clogged just like sump socks will. So what I did was I bought special pads used for the aquatic market and these are awesome it captures the most debris the finest debris and it allows for a lot of water flow to go through these things so it will not clog up now with each tube I'm including two of these pads cut to fit inside this is simply a container designed to hold mainly filter floss or these pads that I have here I already have a few orders so thank you guys so much for your support. You can place your order on the website, rottertube.com. Out of country orders out of the United States, please contact me at the form on the website so I can figure out your shipping for you. You can't hear anything. It's just silent. It's really nice. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next Saturday. As always, this is Steve. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and like down below. Give it a thumbs up if you dig it and click the subscribe button. I want to thank everybody so much for uh, the kick-ass comments. I think our community is one of the best out there on YouTube. I really do. And it's all because of you guys. I love the comments and I love responding to them. I check for comments every day and I respond to every one. So with that, you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you soon.